All right, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like towing with this 2012 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X V6, um, towing a Forest River Wildwood X Lite. Now, the, this Frontier, I believe, is rated for either 6,200 or 6,500 pounds. And this Forest River Wildwood X Lite, I believe, is around 42 to 4,300 pounds dry. Uh, right now it has some stuff in there, so it's probably a good 4,600 pounds. No water, no sewer, no nothing. Um, so this thing probably is, is weighing around 46, 4,700 pounds, roughly speaking. I think I'm being a little bit uh, liberal with that number. But um, this thing is four-wheel drive and everything. I connected everything together. The hitch receiver, that the seven pin plug and everything is already connected and um, all the lights are running and you're gonna see what it's like uh, towing a travel trailer that's just under 5,000 pounds at the moment so let's go ahead and hop in all right we kind of cut in close because this guy is in the way so we got about 64 miles to empty and uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset the miles per gallon average right now. And I believe this drive to the storage unit where I'm taking my trailer um, is going to be about uh, I don't know, a good five miles, maybe. So we'll check it out. We'll see how it does. Now I just have four-wheel drive on right now, just until I get out of this parking lot, or out of this, from behind in this motel. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in drive. Buckle up. Lights are on. So let's go ahead. We're doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly, quickly grab the boards that I had. Those boards way over there. I'm gonna grab those and put them in there. I'm hoping that area is actually unlocked. Look at that. Well, that's what happens when you leave the trailer in a certain spot. Well, the grass dies after just like two months. So let's go ahead and grab these boards. So let's go ahead and turn this in neutral. Put it in two-wheel drive and put it back in the drive. It should turn off in a second. There we go. driven about a mile down the road, getting about 5.2 miles per gallon. This thing does feel a little bit wobbly, and I do not have a brake controller, so pretty much all the pressure is being put on the brakes of the truck. But this is a relatively short trip, so it's not a big deal. But so far, not bad. Climbing a hill here. per hour. It's not bad. You know, I've taken this actually on the back roads going to a campground and uh, it did quite well actually. Um, it went through the back roads, especially in four-wheel drive like a champ. But actually, um, I only use four-wheel drive for, like, for a, a very little period of time. For the most part, I did rear wheel drive and uh, it was doing really well. Um, to be honest, for some reason, it felt like it was better off road than it was on road. Um, but the trailer also seems to be pretty well equipped with uh, those uh, wheels. Uh, they seem to be pretty good uh, for the off road conditions. And 
uh, of course, as is the truck. So we're coming up here. I'm going to take Route 37 North or West North, yeah. And I'm going to, after that, take Interstate 81 South to go and find that mysterious self-storage place. Alright. Come on, buddy. Alright, here we go. We're on the off-ramp. Throttle at about 65 percent. There we go. All right, it's been about say three miles. And here's what we got about 7.3 miles to the gallon. The road is mostly flat with some. Yeah, gradual hills, very gradual. Not sure if you can tell from this camera view, but I just checked a second ago. I have about 56 miles to empty, and I've been doing about 60 to 63 miles per hour, so not bad. She's pretty stable, although. A little bit of a wind gust that does feel a little bit wobbly, or I could feel the trailer moving back and forth a little bit, swaying back and forth, but it's nothing overwhelming. So, I just remembered a shortcut that I can take to get to this storage facility. empty so the fuel the range is dropping real quick and of course this right here this exit is a little steep so we have to take it a little easy Driving on the highway, I told you earlier I was doing 60 to 63 or 65. Um, I was averaging about 3,000 RPM and I did not have the overdrive option on. And of course, this truck does not have the tow option, uh, like say, for example, an F 150 does, or maybe like a Ford Ranger. And maybe even the Goma have that option, I'm not sure. But I know the Frontier doesn't have the, the, the tow mode. So substitute that with is uh, the overdrive but I didn't turn that on um, for the most part and it did, it did just fine once you're cruising on the highway it's keeping a steady 3,000 rpm um, of course whenever I was going up the hill a little bit it downshifted to like 3,500 to 4,000 for a little bit and then once it evened out it was back to uh, uh, you know about 3,000 rpm so we're like 70% of the way there. Feel pretty good. So up ahead at this stoplight, there's gonna be a 
pretty big or you know pretty serious kind of like a like a hump or not a hump but like a, a ditch as you I'm not sure how else to put it as you can see right there oops and and goes back up again once you get on the other side so let's see how this handles it Wow, that was freaking, <laughs> that was no problem at all. All right, now that was a lot smoother than I thought it would go. I guess there's plenty of ground clearance for those kind of things, so sweet. All right, I'm approaching the storage facility. I'm climbing another hill here. I did really good. I forgot what I started out with empty wise but I think it was 60 something so yeah I definitely hit up some miles well you know I was driving just about five miles away or six miles away but it might have been more it might have been like six seven or eight um, but overall it was pretty stable didn't struggle one bit of course you have to press the gas pedal uh, a bit more get some oomph to get some movement but that, that's of course to, to be expected so all right all right here we are Gosh, I hope I'm going to the right entrance. Let me resume the video once I figure out how to get in there. All right, that's our spot right there. So I'm gonna try to maneuver the trailer in there. And hopefully they'll later move that dumpster to the right a little bit so it can be, uh, so there's more room, so. All right, let's get this taken care of. All right, here we go. I know that's a pretty tight spot and I believe they're gonna move that dumpster there we go and there's the twin of our trailer pretty cool stuff so now I put the back stabilizer stabilizer down and what I have to do now is raise of course take the onion you know, unhook the trailer from the truck and then put that down and I don't have any of those like little blocks that go behind the wheels. I don't think I do. There we go. So it doesn't even start to uh, roll back. If that's going to do any good, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to get one more. Yeah. I mean, that should do it. For, for real. That should really do it. Now, I'm going to leave this here for now as I raise... Um, Take a minute. Excuse the noise in the background. I have no idea. Sounds like it's coming from the dumpster. I guess some kind of anti-stealing of trash device inside the dumpster. Who knows? So, just for a second, I should be able to, like that, and I should just pop right out, and then I'll remove these chains, and then the cord. And I've heard that you gotta get some kind of lube for the, for the bowl, so it doesn't stick whenever you try to take off take it uh, off from this hitch. Uh, we'll see. Come on, it should come right off any second now.
Of course. It's lifting up the truck. I've had this almost every single time. Let's try. Let's keep trying it. Come on. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Last time it was a lot louder. So there you have it. Let's unhook this. Do this with one hand. Come on. All right, stand by. That required two hands. So, all right, now let's go ahead and before I do that, I'm gonna, I think I have enough juice to put the stabilizer in the front down. If it's really, even really gonna be necessary. Let's uh, just put that here. Okay. All right, we got this. All right, now let's go ahead and get the truck moving up and forward just a little bit. I think the seven pin connector yeah, is still hooked up, so I didn't really move that far. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> Gosh, I just forget things so fast, but there we go. That's disconnected. That's all good there. Um, so now let's put this thing back down. Oh, that's right. Yep, yeah, battery's dead, so I gotta find a way to... Let's hook this thing back in, because I ain't got no battery power in the trailer at the moment. Just enough. Let's see if that will do it. Yeah, almost. I know they're like six inches, and I'll be all right. There we go. That can really do it. I just realized that <laughs> I had the back stabilizers down and, and I was also trying to lift this thing up and I'm assuming because of that I was putting in a little bit of pressure back here. Um, and it's still good, it's still good. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. Let's have a look. How even is the trailer? It's okay. Let's go ahead and extend these things down. I think that will do for us. I think we're okay. Now let's let me remove those blocks over there. Actually, I'm gonna leave them there. I'm gonna leave these blocks here just in case. Yeah. I'm gonna leave them there. There we go. This thing ain't going nowhere unless a freaking tornado comes by. So, all right. Let's disconnect. Put this chair back in here. There we go. And we're gonna lock up these things. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and put this um this. Yeah. And uh oh you know this thing's annoying. Alright, I gotta turn the truck off. So there you have it. There you have it. I brought this trailer over here about seven miles away. Um, had no problems, of course, and just hooked everything up. Oh, excuse me, unhooked everything, put the stabilizers down, put a block in the back, 
locked everything, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it. All right, you're done. Now we leave this park, the storage place. Seems like there's a decent amount of wildwood um, trailers by Forest River here. I guess it's a pretty popular mosquitoes are killing me right now. Pretty popular um, travel trailer. So that's it. I really hope you guys like watching this video. Uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any kind of questions, uh, down in the comment box and leave something. That's pretty much it. See you in the next video. Thank you.